So, <clears throat> mistakes were made. Um, so the last time I tried this scenario, I missed this special terrain rule here. So, a survivor out of fire can perform a melt snow action to gain one clean water. Um, so yeah, I just have to go to a fire, perform an action, I can get one water. Um, it looks like you can keep on doing that as well. Um, so it means that the campfires act as a water source as long as they're lit. Um, and yeah, I totally missed that. So when I ran out of water before, again, similar to the scenario in the desert where I didn't realise I could keep pumping water out. Um, yeah, that that's that rule is specifically in the um, in the terrain booklet that you get. Um, I just I just missed it. So I'm gonna have another go. I have got with me this time Monica Garcia. She's a dancer. Um, so before rolling dice in combat, I may roll a dice, and on a four to twelve, I escape. So quite a high chance of just being able to dance out of combat. Um, and then I've got my three projects, stone mace, flint, and a backpack. So I'm ready to go. Cleansing fire, the, um, the scenario again, is that I, um, I need to find landmark 104 to advance. And it's the same thing, I've woken up, I've no idea why I'm here, I need to explore. So. I need to find landmark 104 and um, explore that landmark to um, invest to advance to stage two. So I sort of do know that actually the landmark is on a number one tile because it was on a number one tile last time. So it will be on any of these tiles here. So I'm just going to get to get to searching. Another thing I'm going to try and do is play it a bit safer. I'm going to try and end up back in the camp every night. Um, so just make sure when I'm at, when I'm work while I'm taking my actions that I can get back to the campfire just for those um, those night cards to um, to sort of lessen their effect and make them you can you can have it so that you get more stamina if you're at fire you can have it so that you don't gain any threat cards if you're at fire so that's um, that's what I'm going to be doing or trying to do this time is playing around with, with trying to be at a campfire what's good is I've got a flint which means that once I can build a flint I can build another campfire. Um, somewhere else so if I need to be away from the main one for any reason I can set up a remote campfire so that's what I'm going to try and do um, so here we go I'm going to move to here and I'm going to flip over well I'll flip this one over first so that's two for two my two stamina used up so that's number 140 there I'm not looking for that um, I'm not going to run out there and I'm going to do this one so this is the third action the other thing is the campfire currently is um, not not lit so i need to find some wood to get it to light as well um, so i'm already running out of actions for my plan to to work there's some wildlife going on the board there um okay so that's three i'm gonna go four and flip over this number one tile looking for some wood okay I've not found any wood but I have found the 104 that I'm looking for um, so that's that's cool it's one two so that's another two used up down to seven now do I go and advance the story straight away that was the thing I wrestled with before I think I will but not this turn I'm going to go and um, I'm going to go and try and find some wood. Now, what's the reason why to be wood? So if I go here, I'll do three. I'm already I'm already going to run out of um, run out of turns, but I can relight that campfire. Um, let's go to there and reveal this. There we go. There is a forest there with some wood, um, and there's also some salvage. So that was down to six. Um, so I'm going to go one, two, three, get the wood. I'm not going to be able to get back to the campfire. So I'm going to just go one, two, three to get the wood, and then I'm going to go four, five. 
to get here. I'm going to save one stamina and I'm going to go to the night phase like that. The reason I'm not going to explore that thing, even though I could, is because I don't know what's going to happen if I advance it and um, something bad happens and I don't have any stamina left. I, I don't know, I don't really want that to happen, so I'm going to um, be a bit cautious. Just go to night. And night is um, hunger, so I'm eating my food. Um, and then each survivor gains eight stamina, so didn't matter if I was at a campfire at that time or not, which is quite good. It's just general sleep. Oh, gained eight, so up to nine. And then a windstorm, so refreshing the wood. That's quite cool. And um, and then a peril. If I'm not at a fire, then draw a threat card. Um, so yeah, again, if I was actually at a fire, that would have helped me with the threat card. But avalanche. Your heavy footsteps have caused a sudden avalanche, which buries you and threatens to engulf your makeshift camp. Move four spaces towards the nearest lit fire, then the fire burns out. Well, there are no lit fires, so nothing terrible has happened there, really. Um, so back to it. I'm going to explore that now. So I'm exploring number 104. Now, I guess that what I need to do is first, I need to actually do the, the, the investigate. So this is the card. So it's a bunker. The bunker is unoccupied, though whoever was here previously left behind some old climbing equipment. A hatch leading deeper into the bunker is locked with a heavy iron latch. Resolve card 109. Um, I'm guessing there's some sort of keyword on there. And maybe you can open that, that lock with, but I don't know. Um, so I found an ice axe which acts as a key. I remember in the last, last time I played them, there was a few things that needed the axe symbol and this thing here seems to mean that you can use the axe on them. I, I think something was on the cliff I could use it for and the um, crevasse as well, I think you could use the, the pick in the crevasse, so two different areas that I know that might be useful for. Um, I'll keep hold of that. I want to get some... Oh right, so I've done that, now I've got to do the scenario, so I've investigated number 104, so stage two. A man in a hazmat suit comes out to meet you. Do you feel called towards it like the others? You nod. You do feel called, on a level you can't explain. The man shines a light in your eyes and examines your teeth. The fungus is in your brain, but it hasn't consumed you yet. He rolls a large device out of, his, out of the building and twists a few knobs. If you can destroy the source for me, we can stop this infection from spreading. I might even be able to cure you. The current survivor resolves exploration card 159. So 159. The bomb. So the bomb says an upgrade and it says, the device is built around a few barrels of incendiary fuel. It looks like the bulky device will have to be set by hand. If there are five counts on this card or the spore queen is defeated, all survivors and casualties win the game. Right, so he's given me a bomb and he's asked me to beat the source of the of the fungus, which I guess is the spore queen. Um, now I don't know where the spore queen is, but there's a thing here that says if all survivors are at landmark 107, then advance to stage three. So I mean, it's now I need to find landmark 107 and use the bomb. I guess while I'm fighting it, it's going to keep getting counters on it, so eventually either the bomb will go off and kill it, or I can probably fight it and kill it, and that will lead to the end of the game, or where we win the game. So, actually, what does that say? Does that say... Oh no, but that, so that says also I win the game, but this one here says advance to stage 3, so I guess stage 3 is going to cause the spore thing to, to, to spawn in anyway. Okay, so I've used one, I've used one stamina, and I'll go, um, well... What I'll do is I'm going to try to get some food. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, relight. So I will be able to speed a lit campfire, provided I can. I don't have to do anything too bad with it. So that I've found a rabbit. Well, I think it's a hare actually. So 
No, it's a rabbit. So I'm going to fight this rabbit. And the rabbits can't hurt me, and I need an 8 to damage it. Um, it's only got one health, and it's uh, going to give me a meat and a pelt, so that's cool. So let's roll. Yeah, so I've got nothing to help me with, with fighting. I don't think this axe helps me. No, so I haven't hurt the rabbit. It's going to run. It's going to run 7, so it's going to go here, but it can't do. Oh, cool. So in that case, I'm going to put it there. Because I can go, um, so I've done one, two, three, so I've done one, two, three, four, to get there. And then I've got to do one, two, three to get back. But if I move back in the space with it again, I can fight it again. Um, again, doesn't do anything, I've done one damage, well, one on my attack die. Um, and it's going eight, so eight is um, there. So I'm not going to run after it because I'm now only got three stamina left. So I'm going to go um, want to light the fire with the wood. Um, so now that's put me down to zero. I'm at the campfire. Just trying to find a bit of wood. Must be wood in here. Um, yeah, there we go. And going on to the night phase. Night phase is going to be a blue card still, and it's thirst. So I need to drink water, which I've got some of, which is good. Um, sleep, just gain eight. And then rock slide, so replace any rocks on the map that have been used up but that aren't any. Patrol, move each monster two spaces towards the nearest survivor. If there are no normal monster tokens on the map, spawn one monster token at the lowest numbered landmark. So I've got spawn a monster at 104. Now actually, basically what, what happened there is being at the campfire didn't help me at all. I'm sure that there are, I mean, well we know that there are things that would affect me if I'm at a campfire, but it didn't help that time. Um, okay, so I'm looking for landmark 107. I've got the ice pick that I know will help me to do stuff. I know I'm going to have to fight this creature. So I don't know whether it's worth looking for some sort of flaming thing or making a... Oh, I can make a stone mace. So maybe try and make the stone mace. Right, that's a good plan. Also, I need meat and water. Right, I can get water. So I'm going to get some water from the campfire. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'll do that. Get water from the campfire because I can melt the ice. And I can go meat from the rabbit. So let's go one, two, get that. Three, fight the rabbit. Come on, dice. Nope. So the rabbit's going to run that way. Um, so that's one, two, three. It's down to four. One. I can't get back to the. Um, I'm back to the camp now. I flip that over. Some wood. I need wood for the um, for the stone mace, but I also need two bits of stone. Go one, two, three, back to the campfire. So let's put some back to zero and um, back onto onto a night phase. Yeah, I needed food. So hunger, I'm gonna lose a, a wound, light sleep, um, seven, gain seven, and then each survivor not out of fire draws a threat card, but at a fire. So that was good. Um, the slow approach um, seems all right. Seems like a obviously I need to eat, but I'm gonna I need to hunt that rabbit. What if I um, I only got seven stamina, so it's pretty much gonna be coming back straight away. Okay, let's go here. So that's two, three. That's the poison. We don't really care about that. Um, and a thing. So I've done three actions there. One, two, three. Um, I'll do a fourth one to flip that. Um, this is wood and nature. Wood and wildlife. Now I've got three left, so two to get back to the fire. So let's do that. Two to get back to the fire. And um, I'll end my turn there. Go to a night phase. Thirst. So each survivor spends a water. No worries. Deep sleep. 
Each survivor out of fire gains 9 stamina, so I'm up to 10. Um, inspiration, my tribe leader draws a project card, so I'm going to draw a um, orange one for that. Metal shield. And two salvage to build that. Um, and then patrol. Each monster token moves 10 faces towards the nearest survivor. So just move this card down towards me. Um, monsters are not too bad for me, obviously, I have quite a high chance of escaping from them if I want to. 10 stamina now. I want some rock. Right, let's go here. One, two, three. Uh, 107. Ah, oh, 107 is actually what I need to find, and that's that crevasse. Oh. All right, well, I don't want to necessarily go um, there just yet. So, one, two, three. I want to get back to the campfire. So, I'm down to seven. Let's go here. Um, it's got some meat. Just, just straight away meat. So, that was one, two, three, four. Oh wait, what am I doing? So it's a nine. And I went one, two, three. And then four to move onto there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So I can't get back to the fire. I can't pick the rock up and then get back to the fire. Um oh no, but what I can do actually, is it worth doing that? Maybe. So I want to go here. So there's one, two. And I'll get the rock, and then I've got three stamina left. So for one of my stamina, I'm going to build a flint, which is construct 94. That's using that rock that I just picked up to make a flint, and then um, I can use it and a wood to make a fire. So let's go. Um, Go here and then use the wood and the flint to make a campfire. Where are they? So I've got a campfire up here now. I mean, it's not that far away from my main one, but it gives me a good sort of launching point up to these top areas. Um, and onto night phase. Each survivor discards one food or one meat. Okay, well. Thirst. I uh, should have used the water thing. So now I've got thirst damage as well as a hunger. I still remember I just need to get the food and cook it as well. Um, and that was already on there. Oh, I haven't reset this stuff. Okay, so, so I've got hunger. I've got a thirst. So I'm hungry and thirsty. And uh, I'm going to gain eight stamina. And then I'm going to... Each survivor not out of fire or not adjacent to a monster token. So one's one monster. Well, amateur fire, so no spawning monsters. Right, now, start my turn. I'm going to make a water, and then I'm going to drink the water. So one, two, and then I'm going to make another water. So I cure my thirst, and I gain a clean water from the fire. And then I'm going to flip over this, and there's some rock and some wood in there. I can go one, two, three, four, five, I can't go back to the fire. Um, I can go, I can go one, two, flip, three, four, five. It's quite slow, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna do that. So I can go, I can move up to here for two, I can flip that for three, and then I can move back to the fire. Um, I still don't have any food though. Um, yeah, so not ideal. Uh, I think I need to play a little bit less cautious now, and just to try and grab food and eat it. I get stuck out in the. But yeah, okay. Um, night phase again. Discard one food or meat, which I can't do. And then I'm thirsty, so drink that and gain eight stamina. And then each survivor not at a fire, well, I am. Oh, have I done the same thing as I keep doing? Yeah, I have. Ugh. Sorry. Basically, what I've just done is 
picked up the same card I just picked up again. I keep putting them back on top. Um, I don't know why. Okay, water shortage, just got two water. Attrition, uh, turn one of their hunger or thirst into a medical. So hungry, and that's gonna become an infection. And then again, six stamina, because it was our restless sleep. And then each monster token, three spaces towards the nearest survivor. So one, two, three, the monster's on me. And it's, it's a guy on skis, apparently. So um, this is number 182. Uh, ski Trooper. He speeds by you, guns blazing. The snow is his domain. It's got the keyword skull on it. And it says, when this enemy would retreat, move it two spaces towards the nearest lit fire instead. Okay. Well, that's a bit weird because the nearest lit fire is actually where it's on so i guess it would keep on fighting i'm not sure um but i'm going to try and do the um escape my dancey escape um so i did escape um so it doesn't retreat and they don't fight. So I've just left the guy out the fire though. So desperately wanted to set up. Um, okay. So do I do I do this thing? Fight this fight this abomination thing and just hope I survive. I just don't think I've got enough stuff yet. Um oh, okay, I can like if I get a salvage I can make a, that iron shield. I need food and I need water. But I'm not going to be able to get to a campfire now to get food or water, so I'm going to take another wound tonight, probably. Oh, okay. I don't know. Right. One. Two, three. Four. Five, six. I go back up. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fight this point. Oh, no, but it goes. I can't do that because it's gonna keep going back to that campfire. Uh, oh, yeah, there's meant to be a wood up there. Oh, did I already grab it? Okay, there it is. Um, so we'll just go one, two, three. Hopefully, draw the guy away from the fire. So that was it, I think. All done. Back to my night phase. Each of the survivors cards of water and then each survivor spends one food or suffers a hunger damage, so suffer hunger damage. Each survivor gains eight stamina. And bad luck. Each survivor not at a fire draws a threat card. Well, that was bad luck really, wasn't it? Um, reinforcements. They come for you in the night, hoping to catch you while you sleep. Spawn one monster token in a space adjacent to a nearest monster token. If there are no monster tokens on the map, spawn one monster token in your space. So I spawn a monster adjacent to the nearest monster. So pretty much just put one on the map here. Okay, so I've got eight thingy bobs to do some what's it's. And I want salvage, I want stone. Oh, actually, I've got two stone. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Um, that's cool. I've got two stone. I can make this. So I'm going to make a stone mace. I spend those two things and get a stone mace. I've never built one of these before, so I'm not sure what it does, but it sounds nice. Okay. Stone mace. During combat, choose one of the following. Apply plus two to your roll. If you deal damage, deal one plus one damage. Okay, so if I need it, I can boost my dice roll, and if I don't need it, then I can do more than one damage. That's quite cool, because I've never seen a thing that lets me do mop, mop, like, mop, mop, blah, blah, blah. Say it, get your words out. So this lets me do extra damage. I'm always just doing one damage, one damage. Um, so it's cool that I can do more than that. Where's the rabbit card gone? I don't know, I don't know. Um, right, I need water, I need meat. I've got seven 
things to get it. One, two, three, four, five. What about what about go in here? One, two, three, four, five. It's got two of those. Oh nice. Six and then explore. So on so explore one oh one. Station and gondola. A man in a mountain patrol uniform is face down in the snow, dead. It looks like he was headed towards the patrol station when he died. A path around the station leads to a gondola. Resolve exploration card 102 to search his body. Exploration card 103 to enter the patrol station. Or exploration card 105 to head towards the gondola. I want to search the body, so 102. See if we had anything good on him. Oh, a silver key. When you would resolve a card that has the phrase heavy iron latch, you may resolve the card two numbers higher. Right, so heavy iron latch, that was to open, unlock that, that thing, right? So that's cool, I found a key on this guy. Um, that's the end of my um, actions. But that's cool, I've got a key, I've got a key. Um, I need to eat, I need to cure, I need to cure my, my um, medical afflictions. Um, all sorts of things, but let's see what we can do. Hunger, so I need to eat again. Right, I definitely need to get food now. Um, gain seven stamina. Um, move each monster token two spaces towards the nearest survivor. So these guys are coming down towards me. Oh, I'll do. Um, spawn a monster in the space adjacent to the tribe leader. And that's it. Right, now. What can I do with seven stamina? I can get water and hope it doesn't, it's not hungry in the next thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. That's, I think that's my best bet because I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna, I guess that. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can go direct line through it. So five and then get two waters. So. Two clean water from the um, from the fire. Uh, you know what it's going to be. It's going to be discard two water and then um, eat food or die. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Okay, let's try. Each survivor either suffers one uh, one infection or spends one food and one water. Um, so I can't I can't do it. So here we go. I died. Yeah. So dying is not very fun, is it? Um, I'm not sure that going back to the fire every turn made sense. I think if you can get back to a fire, it's worth doing because of just mitigating certain things. But um, look, I just couldn't get any food. And when you can't, when, you, when you're just rolling one die as a, as a hope of, of killing something for food and you've got to get an eight for that rabbit and it's just running away, um, it's just no chance really. Well, I'm sure there's a chance. And obviously I don't know what's on here. There could have been some, some food generating tiles right there. So that might have helped. And again, I chose not to go straight for the, um, for the scenario. So I wonder if, if I just survived this turn, just legged it up to 107, with my um, shield I could make and my mace and just hammer in there. Maybe then, maybe that would have been a bit a bit different. Um, but yeah, got further in the scenario at least, so that's good. Um, I think, I think I'll try this one again. Um, in fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset it um, right now. So I'm just gonna pause you and reset. Right. Reset, and I'm gonna stick with um, my dancer for this one. Uh, but I will redeal myself out three more projects. So I've got this time a wooden shield, a wooden staff, and I've got the fishing trap. Um, and yeah, so just gonna, again, I know that the first Thing I need to find is 
number 104, and I know that's around here in one of the ones, but let's just go and do that thing again, so we can reveal these. Um, and the wood is the wood is going to be important for me to build all of my stuff, but it also is um, the way you're lighting the fire. So yeah, so I need some wood to reignite my campfire to get some water. And then I'll need the fire to cook as well, and then I'll need the wood to build the staff and the wooden shield, which a little bit of attack and defence. Fortunately, no stone mace this time, which was very nice for um, combat. Um, but I have to deal with that. Um, okay. So. One, two, three. Let's go. One. Two. There's the old um, radio tower now. I don't need any of this salvage this time to build anything right now. Um, that's one, two, four. Your two bits of wood. And down to five. And so yeah, one, two, three, four. Light the fire, that's one of five. Replace that with a piece of wood. Okay, so I'm sitting pretty at the minute on one food, one water, and um, one wood, but I know straight away that this thing is going to make me use one up. So, what have we got? Hunger, so eat the food. Um, sleep, gain eight. Stamina. Windstorm, replace the wooden tokens. I think this is very similar to the one I had the first time. Anyway, and then if I'm not at a fire, draw a threat. I am at a fire. So, cool. My, sort of, I don't know if it's a better first turn or worse first turn, to be honest. Right. So, craft my wooden staff using my wood. So, I'm going to gain a wooden staff. That's item number 91. From what I can remember the staff, I think it was just letting me re-roll both dice, which is really useful. Um, during combat, you may re-roll your die. Um, so... That's cool. Oh, I mean, I right. So I built. I built that. I've got stuff. I need two wood to build the shield. I need three wood to put the fishing trap. So wood is good. Um, and also, I need to find. Well, I, I know now that the thing is going to be up here. Well, okay. One, two. Well, hang on, hang on. So. I'm going to get a water, but I need food. Um, so let's go and explore that. So that was, um, that was one, two, three. And there's a wildlife there and there's a salvage. And I've got three moves left. So I'm going to go one, two, three. So I grab that wood on the way. Uh oh. Um, so I went one and I got found a thing. 143. I think that's an explore card. 143. Hmm. Interesting. I found some something in a wood. Uh, periscope. Gain two salvage, then return this card to the box. Okay. So I gained to salvage instead of finding wood. Um, oh wait, there was um, some flavor text on the card. So it says, there was not a tree at all, but a periscope. Someone or something within the mountain is watching you. You smash it. So two, I've got two um, bits of thingy. Oh. I built a wooden staff, which means I can draw one of these advanced, advanced project cards. I always forget that. Um, and I got the metal shield. Ah, that's cool. So I can build the metal shield now instead of the wooden shield. Um, anyway, so I went back here, used up my um, what's it, and um, onto night phase. 
first spend a water good 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 um, gain eight stamina now rock slide replaces any rocks which i haven't collected any of and then patrol it says move each monster two spaces towards which aren't any monsters so spawn a monster token at the lowest numbered landmark so 140 so it's this one here so i spawn a monster here okay um just turning all of these around for you um so i want to craft this shield uh so i get an item number 98 again i can't remember whether i've seen this or not but metal shield apply minus two to enemy combat rolls so that's cool that's cool so i'm gearing myself up now this is nice um i've built something so i can draw i'm going to draw another advanced one i've got a frying pan now that sounds like you might be able to do it used okay i'm gonna go now oh, i need food though but what if it gives me food i don't know i don't know um uh, seven one two three four five six oh hang on i'm going one two three four um so that's four i'm gonna use a f f five to craft the frying pan so that's 97 and uh, card 97 um so this is um add plus one to your combat oh you may perform recover and cook meat actions without spending stamina oh right so i don't it's free to cook and it's free to um it's free to eat and drink to you to so recover is like when i drink water when i've already taken a wound um so that's that's actually really good All right so now i'm going to do another two moves oh, oh 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 remember you built something you can draw another card i'm going to draw a regular one and um, i've got a sling so I can try and build a sling now as well, but I need some hot. Okay, right. Why do I just do that? Why did I? Mm. All right, so I was going to move there, which is two. Oh, that's probably why I did that. 165. It was like a goat. 165. I need food, I need food, I need food. food, food, food. It is a goat. The greatest of all time. Um. Yeah, I get two meat and a pelt for taking out the goat. It's got two health. Um, let me just check something. I just want to. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I've got eight. So that is right. And I've got one left. That good. So the goat has two health and it can't hurt me, but I need to get seven to hurt it. I've got three, but I can re-roll it. Oh. Drop roll. Hang on. So I got nine. So I damaged the goat. Um, I don't have that mace anymore, do I? So I can do minus two to its roll. So you. So it's seven. So that's seven. So it goes that direction, but it can't go that direction. So it's going to go there because I get to choose, and then um, I'm going to follow it. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to follow it and fight it again. And I got 11, so I kill the goat and I get two meat and one hide. So let me just get those bits. So I haven't cooked the meat yet, so if I need to eat it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get. Um, oh, just need to remember. I'm fully here, and I always forget to reset that. Uh, I haven't yet taken any damage, so this is good. Right. That goat is deaded, and um, it's night time. Okay, thirst, so spend a water, no problem. Deep sleep, if I was at a fire I would have gained seven, but I wasn't, so I just gained, no, I would have gained nine, but I just gained seven. Um, I draw a project card, um, got a flint, 
I have lots of projects this game. Um, and then patrol, move each monster two spaces towards. So this guy's coming towards me. Um, now, I've got a plan here, right? I can cook for free, but I need to be able to fire. Beeline it back to the fire, one, two, three, four. So I can cook both of those two meats. And then, um, so that's four. And then I think I can craft a sling and then get two waters. So two clean waters. And I've got two clean waters. I've got two bits of cooked meat. I'm going to get rid of that hide to build this sling, which is when you craft this card, it plays one counter on it. Oh, yeah. Um, after rolling in combat, you may spend one counter from this card to add three to your roll. So now I can increase my combat roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. Um, Right, I think I'm going to try and make a make a, um, a go at the, the quest now. I mean, that was a good few turns of gearing up. I, I got um, you know, I got cooked or whatever. I'm not going to, I'm going to be too positive about it, just in case I don't want to jinx it. But um, oh, I've got to do the night phase. Um, see what we get. Hunger, so eat food. Light sleep, gain seven. And then eventful night, each survivor not at a fire. Well, I am at a fire, thank you. That would have been draw a threat card, but nope. Right, okay, so I'm running short on food again, but I haven't taken any wounds yet. So um, let's just let's just go and look for this thing. So flip that, 104, okay. Um, well, actually, do you know what? Mm, it's tough. But I know that that um, silver key's here somewhere, and I, I could go exploring, unlocking stuff. But it's sort of no, okay, no. Well, I need to find the crevasse as well, and I can't remember where that was now. I think I might have been a number five. I'm not sure. Right, so I've just got one, two, so I'm down to five, three, four. Explore. Hundred and four. And that was um, the bunker. So it was the um, the man that comes out of the bunker. Well, hang on. So that's, you can explore deeper, but it's got locked with a heavy iron heavy iron latch, which is what the key would have opened. The key that you can take from the corpse at the um, at the uh, at the gondola. So I've got the ice pick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just checking. Um, and then I get stage one of this again. So same as before. And the man comes out. He tells me I'm infected. Um, and he says that if we kill the, the, um, the source of the infection, then we can maybe cure, cure the disease. And then so I take 159, which is an upgrade. And I think an upgrade doesn't count as a hold item, which is the um, if there are five counters on this card, um, defeat this one. I don't know how you get counters on there, but that's so that's the bomb, the bomb that is given me to try and beat the brood queen or whatever it was called. Was it called the the, um, the spore queen who's making all those mushrooms? So I need to kill the spore queen. I've got my frying pan. I've got my wooden staff. I've got my slingshot. I am totally ready to go kill this queen. Um, and so it's one, two, three, four. Uh, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's two. So, yeah, two. I can't get back there. So up here and um, reveal this. And there's some wildlife and um, the spade icon. No, no, is that a spade? Yeah, it's like a spade icon. So wildlife. And then it's night time. What have we got? I've got to discard two water. Oh, that's not fun. And then turn one of their food or, well, I haven't got anything to change, so that's okay. It was the, it was attrition where if you're hungry or thirsty, change it into an infection, but I'm not, so I don't do that. But it could took both my water, man. That's just, that's just harsh. So gain six stamina. Um, and then move each monster three spaces towards the nearest survivor. So this guy, one, two, three, he's coming up towards me. Um, so I've got six. I've got six. 
I can't remember where that where that thing was now. Uh, you know what I did think was come on, that's not right, it's a rock. Did that wrong? Um so okay, let's bring um let's bring myself back to the fire and get some more water, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna get my, my some clean water back. Just one, two. Yeah, okay, fine, fine. Um, not a great day, but... Uh, discard one water, spend one food or take a damage, um, sleep, gain eight, and then bad luck. Each survivor not at a fire draws a threat card. If all survivors are at a fire, uh, the tribe leader draws a threat card, so I still need to draw a threat card on this one. Because um, it's the... Okay, we've got here, from the pit. Spawn one monster token at landmark 107, then spawn one monster token adjacent to your space. Well, I can't do 107 because it isn't on there yet. So, um, just do one adjacent to my space. Oh, it was there, wasn't it? Let's put it in there. Let's put it there. Um, okay, eight stamina. I need to get food. Oh, um, well, I don't know why I did that. That's weird. So, I'm definitely supposed to put that on there. Um, right, let's go down here. So, one, two, three, four, five, ah, six. There's some, there's a, um, there's, okay, so the salvage, there's a water pump, which I know is poison, there's a wood, and then there's a nature. So I went one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got two stone men left. Um, don't have any rock, do I? No. Um, let's go here. So one, two. There's a reason why I'm doing that. That's because I want to go and get that key off of the corpse again, um, which is probably risky when I'm. Well, I've got no food left. Oh, okay, fine. That's fine. It's fine. Hunger, no food. Need to eat food. So take a hunger damage. Um, light sleep, so gain seven stamina. Um, night stalkers, move each monster two spaces towards the nearest survivor. So, they're coming at me. And then eyes in the dark, spawn a monster token adjacent to a tribe leader. Okay, um, let's go on here and explore it. So 101, I've got a cabin, I can either go follow where the, um, the dead guard was or um, go towards the gondola or search the body. Um, so search the body and I find the silver key, that's going to open some locks for me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine items currently. I've got a lot of stuff at the minute. Um, five stamina left. I need to get some food, right? So, one, two, one, two, three, four. Five. I can't buy. I can't get that now because I've. I've one, two. I mean, does anyone, does anyone really go here? That seems weird. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I'm oh, really just going to end up killing myself again here. Um, I picked up that wood. Ah, oh, this is really bad. This is bad. Okay, let's just see what we've got here. Malnourished. Each survivor suffers a medical damage or, or spends one food and one water. I don't. So I'm going. Sorry, infection. So I'm infected and I'm hungry. Um, low flames. Each fire burns out unless the survivor at that fire spends wood. So that fire's going out. Um, and then 
Move each monster two spaces towards the nearest survivor. One, two, one, two, one, two. Um. Okay. Oh wait, how many stamina did I gain? Uh, seven. Don't even look at that one. Right, so gain seven, and I go here, and I've got one, six, two. It looks like a, a boar. Wild wild boar. The wild boar's got one health. Um, and I'm going to go. Well, I mean, I've got all sorts of stuff now, so let's just draw the combat because I'm definitely going to fight. I'm not running away. Um, so he hasn't hurt me because he needs a little, he needs nine. And then I've got. Um, Plus one's combat roll with a frying pan. That gets me eight. Oh, that okay. So that's all I need. So hit him with a frying pan, and I get two meats and a pelt from that. Um, I probably am now not able to carry all this stuff. So two meat, and a pelt. I think I'm gonna have to drop some things on the ground here. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's just drop. Um, a cog on the ground there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven. Uh, drop the pelt. Drop the pelt. Yeah, I'll drop the pelt. Okay. So those two sit on the ground there. That was what one. That was one move, wasn't it? So actually, I can see why I might go there now. Let me just check that. So that's a mountain, it's going to cost three to walk in. Um, but if I go one, two, five, um, then I can pick that up. So I pick up the rock, uh, but I need to drop something else now. Um, but I can go there. Well, no. Well, should I stay here? No, if I go there and then build a fire. Then I can trade that wood in to build a fire. Or to build a flint. Oh, wait. Wait. I've done this wrong. I've done this totally wrong. Hang on. So what I was trying to do was um, get a... Um, to start a fire, but I need a flint first. Okay, so what I'll have to do is go here, pick up the rock, and then... Um, Use the rock to build a flint, and then use the flint and the wood to build a fire. I've already traded the wood in, so I can put a fire down. But I'm now put a fire on the edge of this mountainside, which is going to be a nightmare to get back to. But now I can cook the meat for free because I can do that. I can eat one to recover for free because I can recover for free. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I probably at some point have to drop or pick up, and I don't really, I haven't really kept track of that. But um, that has used up all of my um, stamina to do that. Um, I'm pretty sure that was that was legit though. Um, it just means I've had to build a fire on the side of a mountain, which is not ideal. Um, but um, let's go to a night phase and see what happens. Um, spoiled food. Each survivor discards one food or meat. Uh, okay. That was the effort to get thirst. I need to drink and um, sleep. Gain eight, and then um, predators. If I'm not at fire, then I am at fire. So ignoring that one. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do here is get a water back, and then well now I have food again. Uh, I just that's absolutely appalling. Oh, I need to go. And, I need to go and find that landmark. 107. Where are you? Crevasse. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the best I can do, isn't it? Just run up there and hope. But I want. I can go to here, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just got some meat. Yeah, seven. Oh, actually, should I just do that for seven? Okay, pretty pointless. So I found that icy cave. Ah, oh, this is this is tough. Like trying to keep on top of having water and food and everything, it's tough. And 
that's all of my stamina used up. Again, back to zero. And then thirst, so get rid of water. Gain seven stamina. Uh, time passes, so roll a die and then replenish. So that one is six, so I have to replenish rock. There's a new rock down here. I think that's the only one I've picked up in this game, so yeah. Um, and then if I'm not at fire, then draw a threat card. So there we go, threat card. Um, infected tribal redraw if you're the only survivor cool because that was that sounded horrible um ambush spawn one monster in your space ah oh, well do you know what i don't mind let's have a fight with a monster i've got a load of stuff oh it's the uh i think i know what this is this is a hungry lioness this a sort mount oh no it's a mountain lion not the hungry lioness um it's a mountain lion so it is, it's going to damage me on a 6, I'm going to hurt it on a, on a 9, it's got 3 health and um, it's going to give me a 1 meat and 1 pelt as a reward. I don't know necessarily if I want to be fighting this guy, so I could try and run, I'm not going to kill it and yeah I'm going to try and run using my character's ability, she does run, um, so escape, um, mountain lion still active and um, on the board, but yeah, I just I just don't think it's worth fighting that. Uh, not for not trying to do not trying to do three damage to it. Like I can only do one at a time. Um, that was it, wasn't it? So it's my go. Right up to the fire and relight it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, and I can cook that meat for free into a food. Um, and I have to get rid of that wood because I relit the fire. Um, yeah, okay. So let's see what happens. I'm probably going to end up being thirsty. But that's not too bad because I only need to spend... Okay, no, no. Um, sh I need to reshuffle my um, my knight deck together now. You only shuffle the um, you only shuffle the red um, knight cards. The blue ones are four at the top. The, like, the nicer ones, they don't get shuffled back in. So... Um, just these. Um, and we've got hunger, that's cool. So eat the food. Light sleep, gain seven. Um, each monster token moves two spaces towards the survivor. I suppose it will go there. So these two are on top of each other now. I don't know if they can be on top of each other or not, to be honest, but. Spawn one monster, and it's. Yeah, okay, so there's monsters everywhere. Well, actually, let's say they can't be next to each other, I'll just do that. I don't know. Um, right. I got a uh, grab of water from the fire. But well, I'm going to melt some snow. But and then I'm going to let's go and hit up some stuff here. So one, two, three. Oh, should I build it? Four, five. So that's three. Was it? Yeah, so I can't really do much else now. because I've, So there's water, one, two, three. So then I had, so there's four, so I'm on two. Um, and I need to put down a wood and a stone. And then I need to, what I'm gonna do is go get in that nook there and grab this bit of rock. Oh, two bits of rock. And then I guess hope it's thirst or hope that I'm not gonna well, this is where I'm going to start to die of hunger again. Right, okay. Uh, night phase. Um, malnourished. Each swab I've ever suffered is one. So I need to take another medical, another uh, infection. So double, doubly, um, doubly infected. Deep sleep. So if, were, uh, if I was at a fire, but I didn't, I'm not. So gaining seven. And then low flames. Each fire burns out. And then night stalkers. Each monster moves two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, they're really gunning for me now. Um, 
I was just going to have to try and try and find this brood thingy. Right, one, two, and then so there's a there's a nature nature thing um, nature thingy here, and another wood. That was two, so I've got five left, and I have found the crevasse. One, two, three, so let's go up through there. Just get some hide. Two, three, um, and then explore. So we went one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, stamina, and explore 107, which is. Oh no! I don't exp oh well, I'm going to explore 107 first, but the um, thing doesn't move forward if I explore it. Uh, the crevasses, oh wait, it's, the crevasses are extremely dangerous and deep, you cannot see the bottom. You saw it lying on a shelf on the ice several metres below, but you have no way of scaling the icy cliff to retrieve it. Well, I do because this little pick symbol means I can use my ice axe, and the ice axe is um, resolve a card one number higher. So instead of 107, I resolve 108, and 108 is. Experimental meds. When you find this card, gain three medicine. Oh man, that's so good. That's so. G oh, okay. So I get. Oh wow. Okay. I gain three medicine, which I don't think I've ever, ever had before. Um. One, two. Um. Bear with me, so I can free the medicine pot. Oh, there we go, free. So, free medicine. Um, it says when you. Oh, where's it gone? Experimental meds. Um, when you find this card game, free medicine, and then you get an, a, a, an action. Spend one medicine to discard an infected threat card from you or survivors. Well, well, no, but I'm going to do. I can, I can use two medicine for free and get rid of both of my medical damage um, because I can recover for free. That, it does say when you perform a recover on good action, you may perform recover. Yeah, so recover is um, spend the appropriate token to cure the appropriate health. So done that, and this is an upgrade. So again, an upgrade is not non useful. That means if there's an inf if a um, infected card, it says what it says is you use one stamina and spend a medicine to discard an infected threat card from you. Oh, so if there's a threat card, I can get rid of it if it says infected on it. But actually, that doesn't help me because I'm pretty sure I saw the infected card and that said um, that was the one where it was like you you don't have to... Well, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, um, so it said um, discard if you're on your own, I was on my own. I haven't used the master key. I was going to go and look in the hut and open that thing in the master for the master key. I've just forgotten about doing that. Anyway, I'm on the I'm on the crevasse, and if I spend an action on the crevasse, I can um, progress to part three. And um, so, part three: the air around the sinkhole smells of rotten death. As you get closer, you see a mutated creature. In oh, you see mutated creatures in various shapes and sizes, all spotted with fungus glowing white. A pale shape rises from the pit, like a pillar of fungus and flesh. It looms above you more than twice your height and opens a beak-like maw. When it begins to sing, you realise it's the thing that has called you here. Spawn, special monster token number 186 at landmark 107. That enemy will lead to the end of the game. Right, so here we go. 186 is spawning in and 186 is... The Spore Queen. Okay, here we go. Spore Queen has um, all man. Okay, so to damage the Spore Queen, I need to get twelve, and it, it damages me on four. Um, the leaf also doesn't. Prove it. This is it now. I'm just going to be fighting the Queen. Either it dies or I die. That's that's, that's how it's going to go because it's leaf or it means it's never going to going to run. And it has four times the amount of health as the number of survivors. It's got four health, and um, it says, before the tribe leader rolls dice, place one counter on the bomb. If you deal damage, turn the enemy die to one. 
Okay. Okay. So this is a bit jammy, but it says before the tribe leader rolls dice. But I have a thing that says during combat you may re-roll your dice. So does that mean that I can do it twice if I decide to re-roll it? No, I mean it must mean combat, but it doesn't say that on the card. That's pretty bad. But I, I guess it means when you, as you fight. Right. So I need to fight it. So I've got the bomb. Where's the bomb? Where's the bomb? Now the bomb. If it gets five counters on it, then it win. Then then we win. So basically, either I can kill her and do four damage, or I can hold out for four turns defensively. Um, I know. Hang on. Yeah. So if I can do five, well, no, it's four, isn't it? Because before I roll dice, I put a counter on. So if I if I if I have four rounds of combat and I don't die, then um, I win because the bomb will get enough tokens on it. I think. So here we go. 10 and 3, that was 10 and 3, um, I think, let's just go re-roll, um, <laughs> 11 and 4, um, so I put a token on to the bomb, I'm just going to put the bomb down here so you can see that, token on the bomb and um, the queen, um, so the queen has damaged me, the shield does minus 2, I can't do anything about it, um, and I can't get up to that score. I could use the frying pan for plus one. I could use the sling for, for plus three, but that doesn't get me up to 12. Um, and I've used my reroll, so that's done a wound to me. So I've got two healthy and um, one physical damage now. Um, and then we'll go for another roll. And what we've got is Ah, uh, okay. So, just hurt me again. Um, well, no, but I can re-roll. So, token on there, re-roll. So I got a four and a four. Um, so the four I can reduce using my shield. So apply minus two. So that goes down to two. So it doesn't hurt me. I can't hurt her. So nothing. And then another combat. So it's a roll again. Another token goes on the bomb, and I think now basically the bomb is definitely going to go off, and I don't think I can hurt her. So I can minus two to this four to go down to two, so she doesn't hurt me. I can use my oh wait, frying pan gives me a plus one. Yeah, so I use my sling and take the token off my sling. That puts that up to twelve. So I do now damage the queen for one, um, but then another roll will be um, another token on the bomb. Um, minus two from my shield on that four, and I can get an eight up to a twelve if I want to. I might as well do this. So frying pan will go up to nine, and then I'll spend a stone to use my sling again. Um, so that goes up to twelve. So I put another damage on the queen, but then another combo roll. I put a token on the bomb, so I don't roll the dice now because. It says when there's five tokens on the bomb, if there are five counters on this card, or a sport queen is defeated, all survivors and casualties win the game. Um, I think casualties there means that if any of if it was multiple people playing and some of the survivors had ended up dying, then as long as you you beat the queen, then everyone still counts as a win, which is not the normal rules. Normally, if you die, then you don't you don't count as winning. Um, so. There isn't really a story here. Um, it literally just says win the game and there's no other cards to read. So that is the end. There's that the, the bomb has basically gone off um, and killed the queen. I guess it's also killed me. Like I must have blown up in this bomb blast. I suppose the other alternative is that I managed to do enough damage to her, in which case um, I would have ended up surviving because obviously the bomb doesn't go off but it's going to be tough to do enough damage um i would have had to literally damage to every single time i i rolled um and that's with a 12 that's quite hard although i think there was a few things that would just turn up to 12 like i think there might have been uh a few items that might help me with that um okay 
So I still actually have scenario four to play, and that's going to be here as well. And I think if we've killed the queen, it's going to be interesting to see what the next story is. Um, and then as well, I'm going to try and have a bit of an extra look around, um, see if I can open some stuff with a key. Uh, so try and find that um, gondola station straight away, get the key and have a look and just do a bit of exploring in the area. Um, and also see if the ice pick can be used in other places. Maybe down in this cave you could use the ice pick. Um, so yeah, um, I, I, I mean, the third attempt that was to do that one. So, you know, it's quite tough to, to get the right balance of finding the food and stuff. I think I did well there. I was so, so lucky that that crevasse gave me all that medicine because otherwise, well, would I be dead? No, actually, I, I think I still would have lived through that. But then I was luckily rolling quite low on the enemy um, on the enemy dice, so I was getting I was able to use my shield to to um, to knock it down. But but yes, yeah, so I would have survived anyway. But getting that three medicine put me on full health, which is really good, especially because I had the frying pan. So sort of a little bit of luck in the stuff that I got, but also doing a lot of um, scavenging and stuff helped out. I think. Um, but yeah, that, I, I'm still I still like this. I'm still enjoying it. Um, yeah, it's the final, well, the final PVE scenario um, to come. Um, thanks for watching. Um, and, yeah, hopefully you'll come back and watch the um, the grand finale, which probably won't end up being the grand finale if I die, obviously, because I'll try it again. But um, for, for scenario number four. Until then, bye, guys.